scenes. So we have a bunch of new effects. One of the ones I want to talk about is the looper. Let me load that up. So looper is modeled off of overdubbing guitar pedals. Basically the idea is that you record a passage of stuff and then you can lay loops over it. Um, this device is really optimized to be used with a foot pedal. And in our case, it works really well with just a normal, I just have like a normal $40 sustain pedal here. Anything that will send pedal data over MIDI. So this button here in the looper is this multi-purpose button. If I map this to the pedal, uh, you enter MIDI map mode, touch the thing, touch the key, and you're done. So I've mapped this pedal now. And basically what the pedal does, it does something different depending on what the looper is already doing. So when I press it the first time, it starts recording. And currently it's not recording anything because I'm not doing anything. If I press it again, it switches to overdub mode. So it's trying to overdub additional recordings now over the stuff I already recorded. Now additional pe single pedal presses will toggle between play mode you can see there, and back to overdub, back and forth. If I press it quickly twice, then it stops. Let's see, another really slick thing about the looper is that you don't have to play a metronome, you don't have to listen to a metronome. When you record, it starts paying attention to the material that you're recording, and when you switch to play or overdub mode, it adjusts live's tempo to the tempo that you recorded. So it pretty correctly analyzed that I was playing two bars of stuff, and if I turn the metronome on now, live is in time with me. I don't have to worry about, you know, keeping tempo. Now it's overdubbing, so additional stuff that I play will be laid on top. Now I'll switch again to play mode. And now we could theoretically continue playing and it wouldn't record new stuff. And I can double click to stop it. And then there are all these modes that allow you to, to start or stop Live's global transport based on what, uh, what Looper does. This works kind of like a clip. It has a quantization chooser like a clip so that if Live's transport is already running, and then I launch it, it'll wait until the beginning of the next bar before coming in. It can flip the whole thing backwards. And then addition, new overdubs will then be forward. And then if I push reverse again, the new overdubs will go backwards and the original stuff will go forward again. It can drop by an octave or up by an octave. Those changes are also quantized like a clip or independently tuned if I want. And maybe the best part, this little drag me section here, if I drag this out, to a clip slot, I get the contents of everything I just recorded as a new clip. 